parts of this question. Since 1974, the international community recognizes Cyprus as being under the invasion of Turks. Like, no country has recognized the um, northern Cyprus Turkish Republic besides Turkey. You haven't either, has he? He doesn't know how to say it properly. <laughs> Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. Uh, this is direct TRNC forever. <laughs> this is direct translation from my Turkish knowledge. So. Northern Cyprus, Turkish Republic. So, and it seems like no one ever will, at least for a long time. So, you have stated that if Turkey and the EU could return to full cooperation, which means overcoming the uh, major problem of Cyprus, they would likely find they have a lot more uh, to offer the Middle East together than separately. So, do you think this cooperation is possible considering the deteriorating relationship between the EU and Turkey, like currently? No. Uh, and what is going to happen in your opinion? We're going to issue another report soon, urging the sides to take various steps that will normalize the basically stable situation on the island. They're just punishing each other at this point. And yes, they're... Um, one the interesting kind of point about what you've said is that, you know, I think what your question is getting at is the EU-Turkey-Cyprus triangle. Okay, you can't break it. There's no way you can talk about Cyprus without getting involved with Turkey-EU, and you can't talk about Turkey-EU without fixing Cyprus. They all move together, up or down, and right now they're down. And I think it will take, Europe will have to recover its sense of wishing to expand again. Turkey will have to realize that the sun does not rise in the south. The Middle East is a mess. It has not got very much to offer Turkey. And the EU, even if it's humbled by its recent problems, is double the average annual income per person than Turkey. Turkey is, we know, is a regional superpower. It's a fantastic place, but it's still pretty poor compared to Europe and has got a lot to learn. And as I understand, the, the education system in Turkey is somehow, you've obviously opened up a parenthesis in the school, um, which you will then uh, complete by going to universities abroad for the very good reason that the Turkish education system is not a first division country's education system. Um, Turkey will one day, I believe, go back to realizing, well, hang on, most of our trade is with Europe, almost all of our investment comes from Europe. Actually, four million Turks have voted with their feet and gone to Europe. And guess how many Turks have voted with their feet and gone to live in the Middle East? Guess, guess how many? Not much. But less than 100,000, yeah. Okay, so I think that the natural weight of Turkey does point towards Europe. But um, and when that happens, when that happens, then Cyprus and the Cypriots also have to, you know, have to take our advice about how to fix their problem a bit, normalize, and then the things can start coming up again. Then we can start talking about whether, after 50 years, Turkey and, Turkey and uh, the EU <coughs> and Cyprus can together get over this mutually very negative situation they've got themselves into, which is really artificial, it's unnecessary, but they're stuck there. Minister, ah. <laughs> <laughs>